Yo guys, Oli Tatter and today we are back with another FIFA mobile video. It is 7pm on Thursday, which means reset. If, if you guys didn't know, it's basically like 6pm on a Friday uh, for console FIFA. There's actually a new event, there's a new Pele event, where you can get a, f I want to say it's free, I haven't looked at it yet, but a free 108 rated Pele, you can choose the position between strike and forward a cam as you celebrate the late legend's legacy. I think that's a really nice touch from here. I liked when they did uh, the Ronaldinho event. Uh, apparently it's similar to that, so that's a really nice touch from here. There's also the Heartbreakers event. Uh, obviously it's a store only event. It's not quite, not really of interest to me. There's also some changes to the Team of the Year event just to make it a bit easier and simpler to play. We do get a 100 rated Team of the Year player here. I think it's guaranteed to be 100 and nothing else. So yeah, we get Kong Awani in there. Who would have guessed? And we're going to look at the Pele event to start off things. It was only 14 days. Um, so we've got 100k for beating Argentina. It says, beloved, beloved in his native Brazil and by millions around the world, Pele was quite simply one of the greatest footballers of all time. Six Brazilian championships, three FIFA World Cups, and 767 competitive goals in a career spanning 21 years, more than justify his status as the king of the beautiful game. Apologies for the lag on uh, the like the the uh, screencast. Yeah, eight eight four rated Argentina team already at a phenomenon at just 16 years old. Pelé scored his international on his international debut for Brazil. Get 100k for that. And beat Wales 25 second striker skill based. I like that that's a specific skill based. I'm guessing that's the one that uh, one of the Pele's has. Then 100k. 25 long shots. Um, uh, the Orai uh, logo. 25 finishing skill base. 100k. 25 of each of them skill base. 200k. And the Pele choice point. So you can choose between any of these. I do have long shots. Uh, I do have finishing. I'm tempted to go for the striker version. Obviously because um, I don't have to score as many goals as I want with Pele. Um, five star, five star. Just look at them stats. That is, I was going to say ridiculous, but Pele deserves it, doesn't he? The king of the beautiful game, Pele Eternal. There you go, so... I'm going to play through them off camera because I don't, I don't want to play through them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Of course it's 10 matches. It literally spells out the number 10, which is quite nice. So, yeah, 3, 100, 108 rate per year for playing, playing 10 matches within the next 14 weeks. I, I have a player. We might as well call him a team of the air player. Kick things off. Jonathan Klaus. So, yeah, they have made changes to this start off with you can play each skill game twice and they've reduced the adverts down from five to two so you will get the same amount of points every day and they've also removed that uh that rabbit one that pinball one because apparently people didn't found it hard it wasn't hard it was just a bit strange to be honest more than anything i found it so yeah we're just going to play through a couple of the skill games i'm not going to do anything too long because i don't want this video to be too long you know also just don't want to bore you guys you know by Playing through like fifteen different matches in one video. Let me know if down below if you want if you'd want me to stream FIFA Mobile. I mean, I don't know if I could manage it because I mean the game's already lagging as it is, uh, and me streaming along with that would just not bring about um, a lot of a lot of frames to be honest. But yeah, what if they put in replace of that uh, pinball one opponent race? That's not bad. So we'll have a look at the heartbreakers after we've done this skill game. I forgot to go have a look at that. Yeah, this one's not bad. Let's run through the mannequins. Uh, nice and simple. Now we'll do it again. There we are. Nice and simple. There we go. 
They also have brought new exchanges, I believe, which is quite cool. Hopefully they should be the sort of same price as um, the other exchange, obviously. We are in week two, obviously, um, so... Yeah, so that exchange is still the same. Um... It might be in the actual... There's new Prime Icon... No, it's new Prime Icons every two weeks, isn't it? They have changed some of the players in the reward path as well. So, for example, this used to be 105 Cannavaro. But they've changed it to just a 106 rated team of the air player. Which, I mean, is better because Cannavaro obviously was 105. This is 106. But, I, I don't know. And then, obviously, they had 107 Del Piero at the end here. And they changed it to all 108 team of the air player. You're going to want Vinny from that, aren't you? We'll look at the new exchanges. Heartbreaker Exchange. Okay, so that's not actually anything to do with Heartbreakers. They've just called it Heartbreaker Exchange. You can submit 40 players, no, 20 players, sorry, uh, less than elite. To get you some stuff, and you can do that 40 times. That's not bad, I guess, if you want to, like, you know, get rid of some stuff in your club. But this is what I was on about. You can do them 999 times. That's a Juice World reference. It's eight of them. That's not very good. What for this one, then? Okay, it's eight of them for each one. See, that's 108 plus, so you're pretty much guaranteed one of the good ones. So, eight of them... So, hang on. We're going to do the maths. So to get a 108 plus equals 8 times 107 to 108. 106 plus. Uh, I, you can't really upgrade them because this is only 106 plus. You can recycle these in, into them. I don't know. It's, it's not bad. It's, not, it's, it's something, something new at least. And then the star. Heartbreakers. I'm assuming that's not all of Heartbreakers because it is usually players. Um, it's probably a new team of the air pack there, but I, I don't look at the star often, so I just claim my free pack and then I bounce two prime tokens. Not bad though. Heartbreakers. No, it actually is just... There's no, there's no Heartbreakers players. Two and a half mil for 10k gems. That's just not worth it. I'm baffled why there's no Heartbreakers players. There is, like, every time. Also, you can do Challenge Mode three times a week now, I believe. It's another change they made. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's not bad at least. Uh, the video's a bit short yet, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get 40 points on to claim. Also, they've changed the quest from uh, claim two Team of the Year reward players to only claim one now. So you only have to spend 40 points every day to get that quest. Which isn't bad. So yeah, I'm going to try and claim one more of them players. Uh, then I, can, I believe we can do an exchange. We can also try and do one of the star exchanges. I don't want to put too many players in though, obviously, because I need some of them for challenger mode. You only need three though, to be fair, which means we'll only need to keep two, because obviously we'll get one from the exchange. So you've got to think about these things. Bang. And that's that. Get another ten points from there. We've pro have we hit the reward path for today? This week already. We have. Right, it's only 50k of mine, but you know. More progress towards... Oh, we've done the other one as well. <laughs> the week's only been out for 42 minutes and we've already like halfway done it. Can we get 10 points from here? 
We can. Okay, so we can claim another team of the player. Very nice. If we go back to here. Bang. Yeah, it, it didn't really matter who we get from this because we literally just throw them, them all into the exchange. We get another Jonathan Klaus. Bang, bang, and the two. Do we put the two Kogamoanis in? Because we might be able to put him in this one. No, we can't put. Okay, we can't put Kogamoani into that one, so yeah. Let's put Kogamoani into here. Guaranteed 101 plus. I mean, 109 plus, I would be a bit happier. Give us a walkout. It's a walkout. Get in. Come on. Big nation. Oh. Yeah. We get, we get Hugo Lloris. He's, he's there, I guess. I don't want to do the Heartbreaks exchange. We want to do this. We need eight. If I take uh, Terrier and Frimpong out of my squad. I have other Team of the Year players than that, right? I mean, even if I don't, I've probably got enough Team of the Year players to get a third from the from the exchange, anyway. But here we go. First 103 Team of the Year exchange. Bang. Come on. I mean, it's one. It's a guaranteed walkout, right? Because Hugo Lloris was walkout and he was on 103. Come on, a big nation, big nation. Vlahovic? He probably 103, isn't he? 105! That is not bad. We definitely take a 105. He starts for me. Because <laughs> my other starting striker is Havertz. So, yeah, Vlahovic starts for me anyway. Is he second striker? Yeah, he is. We'll upgrade that, I guess. Vlahovic starts for me regardless. Go like this. Oh, no, I forgot I got... Why did I forget I got Larson? Vlahovic is not bad, though. I'll set this back to active. I'll put him right in there. Do I actually just not have another team of the air player? Okay, yeah, I will, I will have to do another exchange. But that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it and do want to see more footage for mobile content on the channel, then let me know down below what you want to see. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.